This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real learning, real videos, real success. In this demo, we're going to be working with our database roles. Now, when we're working with our database roles, we'll go ahead and bring up our management studio. The idea is that we need to be able to manage user permissions, and we have a bunch of default fixed roles that are available to us right from the get-go. So if I come under my server, and I expand that out, expand my databases, and then under my databases, I find the database that I want to work with. And from within those databases, I have my own set of security for that database, which includes users and roles. Once we expand our roles, we see what the fixed database roles are that are available to us, because it has a database roles folder and an application roles folder. So we'll start with our database roles. In our database roles, we've got access admin, backup operator, data readers, data writers, your DDL admins, deny data reader, deny data writer, DB owner, DB security admin, and public. So we have a bunch of fixed roles, each one that isolates you to a very limited set of permissions based on that particular arena. Now we can work with these directly if we need to. If I go into one of these, for example, data writer, and look at its properties, I can see some general details about how it functions. I can see which schema it's owned by, and I can see which members are a part of it. But there's nothing I can really change about it. Much like with our fixed server roles, your fixed database roles are what they are. They are not meant to be changed. So as we're playing with this, I need to decide which of my users belong in which of these arenas. If we look at our public, for example, our public gives us very limited sets of securables, but our public is the only one that has this option to make changes. Again, very similar to what we had in our server roles. We have the ability in our database fixed roles to make specific permissions for public within the fixed set. So everything is completely static except for public. Now, beyond that, we can also find a lot of this information out from within our T-SQL. So we're going to run a select star from our sys.database principles where our type equals R. This is giving us our database roles, that's the type R, and it's giving us all the individual roles that are available. So we can see what's in the system without having to go through the GUI if we don't want to. Now at this stage, we're going to go ahead and add one of our database users as a member to the DB backup operator role. When you run that statement, Ah, <laughs> I have a login, but I don't have a database user yet. So one step first, we're going to go ahead and add in that user, and then we'll add in the permissions. So we're going to create a new user. This is going to be based on our login. So we'll have our mod and user, and we'll associate it with that. Actually, I think it uses the exact same name. So we'll actually change that to same name for the user and for the login. Just keeps things a little bit simpler for us. So now we have an actual user in our database that matches the login. Now we can add it to one of the database roles. And it makes sense. You can't add a user in that doesn't exist. So there we go. So we now have our mod login as a part of the DB backup operator. Now, if we wanted to see that they were, in fact, a part of that role, we have a couple different options. I can do it from the T-SQL perspective by running a query against my role members, my database principles, and so I can see the different role names and the different principles within them. So that works just fine. But I can also do it through my GUI. If I go directly to that database user and I do its properties, 
we can look at its membership and we can see that it is a part of the backup operator group. I can also go to the database roles, find my backup operator, look at its properties, and I can see in fact that it has a member that matches that particular database user. So this is the way we can maneuver through this environment and make sure that we are setting up our users within the appropriate fixed database user roles and that we can find out which principles are members of which groups at any given time. So we'll go ahead and drop that user and we're off and running. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of working with your database roles. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.